You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Lovers, this is Michelle Fern at the Global Pet Expo 2017. This is my special rock star edition of Global Pet Expo because I was fortunate enough to have interviews with four celebrities as I roam the aisles. Listen to me talk with Dr. Jeff Werber. He's an internationally known vet and he's on our very own Ask the Vet with Dr. Jeff. Dr. Jeff knows everything and anything about pets. He's amazing. I also was lucky enough to speak to Jackson Galaxy, the cat daddy. He knows more about cats than anyone I know, and he has such a great philosophy about cats. And I also had a blast talking to Brandon McMillan. He is the host of Lucky Dog. He has a new book out, and he also has some great products. And, of course, it was wonderful to talk to John O'Hurley. And I actually got to talk to him on National Puppy Day. Stay tuned for these great interviews. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. You know that feeling when you go to clean the litter box and it's a complete disaster? Yeah. We've got you covered. Introducing World's Best Cat Litter Zero Mess, the advanced litter that gives you two times better clumping and more odor control with less litter. Zero Mess combines the concentrated power of corn with super absorbent plant fibers. Translation, scoop once and you're done. Find it at a pet store near you and save $2. Visit www.saveonworldsbest.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com Hello, pet lovers. Okay, this next guest I'm super excited about. It's Dr. Jeff Werber. It's one of our very own great show hosts on Pet Life Radio. We're here at the Global Pet Expo, and he's introducing a new product called Comms. Welcome, Dr. Jeff. Thanks, Michelle. It's great to be here. So, um, Comms basically is a non-pharmacologic solution to a huge problem of anxiety. And about 90% of pets, dogs especially, will show some degree of fear and anxiety at some point during their life. And about 24 million, or, or which is right, about a third of them will have regular anxiety issues. So, Comms is a great device that fits on a harness, and it stimulates both via vibration, sound, and tonal sound, they call it, a simple way to decrease the effects of anxiety, to instead of having increased adrenaline and decreased blood flow, to reverse that and have increased blood flow to the brain, less adrenaline secreted, which naturally calms these animals. It's phenomenal. I love it. I can't wait for you to come on my show and we can talk more about this. Thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you at length. We can teach you how it works and why it's such a great product. Thanks again, everybody. If you have not tuned in yet, you have to listen to Dr. Jeff's show. It's Ask the Vet with Dr. Jeff on Pet Life Radio. He is phenomenal. Thank you again. Thanks, Michelle. See you soon. Hello, pet lovers. This is Michelle Fern. We're at the Global Pet Expo. I am so excited. I'm with Jackson Galaxy, the cat daddy. Welcome, Jackson. Good to be here, Michelle. I'm so excited to see you, especially since last time our studio has grown to three rescue cats now. Love it, man. And I love that you... What do you say about cats for everybody that doesn't know? Because I know that you're a realist. You don't, you know, you're not, let's not dress them up. Let's take, cats should be how they are. Yeah. So for everybody that doesn't know, what what is that? Well, I mean, I, I'm a big believer that we want to play into what I call the raw cat. Cats uh, have been with us on this long journey without us ever asking them to do anything different than who they were until we brought them into our homes. And then suddenly we started asking them to be someone else. If you want a cat that's healthy, if you want a cat that's loving life, just you cater to what they do anyway, you know? That's why I want people to play with their cats. If they were outside, they'd be hunting. They're inside, so we play with them. Um, we give them uh, places to hide, places to perch, you know, allow them to be who they are. And, and 
the, the payoff, I think, is great. I love your advice. I absolutely agree with it. Now, you have some extended... You have a lot of products over you. So you had products with PetMate for a while now, but you added some new ones. What have you added? Well, I mean, it, here with PetMate, I mean, we're moving into the, quote, hard goods. We're moving into bedding and litter boxes and soon fountains and things like that. We're trying to cover the waterfront here. I mean, I want people to be able to know, the cat guardians to know, that I care about your whole cat. And I, I want to make sure that you that I, I'm using your trust wisely. You know, and it would be a nightmare for me if I actually put my name and my passion behind products that weren't good. You know, so uh, that's where all my work is going. We've also um, we've also expanded out into the stain and odor remover world. My new stain and odor remover, which is not new, it's been out on the market for years under other names, uh, but I've worshipped it forever. Like I had to get my name on that stuff because. It works beautifully. It's natural. It's totally non-toxic. It doesn't smell like flowers. Um, it just makes your house not smell like pee, you know? So it's, it's a great product. Okay, we have three rescues now over at our house, so I think we need some to find, get some of that because it's, it's, there's sometimes it smells like a litter box. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your favorite of all the new items that you're putting out? Do you have a favorite? Well, I got to say, right in front of us here, the butterfly ball, is one of those things that I'm absolutely crazy about. Right now the battery's kind of, there it goes. The battery's almost dead on this one. But, see the way it goes, you can't see this of course on radio, but what it's doing is this butterfly that's inside this ball moves in a completely unpredictable way. It goes, it stops, it spins, and then it stops completely. It's, it's absolutely random movement. And if you've ever seen your cat watching a moth up at the ceiling, and the fact that they can do that for about two hours, you're going to appreciate toys like this. And this is where I believe we got to be moving toward in terms of toys, in terms of enrichment for cats. We got to play into what they desire, which is to hunt. See, you're staring at it. I love it, and we have we have little Molly that is our our youngest rescue that would go nuts for that. But there that you go. is it's mesmerizing. I'll, it, there'll be a picture on on Instagram for everyone that's listening. Um, it's very cool. Yeah, and th- that's you know again. The products that I'm proud of are the ones that speak directly to the cats. You know, this butterfly ball, my air prey and ground prey wand toys, I'm really, really proud of. Um, The other thing is, oh, the catnip marinator. I'm really into that one. So the idea that you take toys that are catnip type toys that are the the porous little throw around toys, you put them into this marinator, it infuses them with the smell of fresh catnip without getting a mess all over the house. So that's kind of innovative, I thought. And uh, it's just coming from somebody who's been living with cats for 25 years and experiencing the same frustrations everybody else does. I love your new products. I can't wait to get some into our household because with three rescues now, it's a challenge finding toys and things that keep them keep them satisfied that lasts and they don't fall apart right away and all of that so thank you so much for telling me about all of your new products welcome thank you for getting the word out there i want everyone to play with your cat keep your cat healthy Hello, pet lovers. I am at the Prina booth with John O'Hurley, and he is now all about pets. You have a new show on? Well, we have a couple new shows, actually. Most people realize that I have the National Dog Show presented by Purina there on Thanksgiving Day, which is now the largest uh, event that NBC does all year. We get 30 million people watching it. Well, we just finished taping the Beverly Hills Dog Show, which is going to air on USA on uh, Easter Sunday evening from 8 till 10. We expect it will be just as popular as the National Dog Show is, also presented by Purina. And also I'm with uh, Evine now, the television shopping network. Uh, They're the third largest, and uh, they've given me a one-hour show that's called The Pet Shop with John O'Hurley. And uh, we do it three, four times a year and uh, pick out some of the best products in the pet world, some of the most innovative, and you know this is a very innovative world. So it's a lot of fun and uh, so far been quite successful. Now, if you don't mind me asking, people know you as... As an, you know, an actor, the amazing Seinfeld years ago, I'm sure it's not a new interest in pets. What brings you to the pet world? Well, for the last 16 years, I've been hosting the uh, the dog show on Thanksgiving Day. So we've become, with that show, have become kind of a, uh, a national tradition, I would say. And out of that has um, has grown this, you know, kind of wonderful attachment to the world of dogs. I've written three bestsellers on the subject of dogs and how the dogs basically teach us everything we need to know in life, if we're and- careful enough to observe them. And how many do you have? How many dogs? Uh, at home, we have uh, two 
two dogs. We have uh, our family has a little Havanese, and uh, we also have a Cavalier King Charles. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, nice to be with you. This is Michelle Fern at Global Pet Expo. I'm at the Pet Made booth with Brandon McMillan. He is the Emmy award-winning host of Lucky Dog. Welcome. How's the show going for you, Brandon? Show is going phenomenal. It's not broken, so I'm not fixing it. <laughs> that sounds good. Now you have a couple of new products that you're presenting through Pet Made: the Lure Stick and the Shake and Break. What do they do? They're basically both a one-stop shop. One is a one's more of a training tool, like a one-stop shop training tool that you can train multiple things on a dog. And the other one is a one-stop shop behavior buster. Okay, so the the Lure Stick is. Uh, few really good purposes uh, for it. One is uh, it extends out. You put a treat in it. It's very hard to describe because it's over radio, so you'll have to, you'd have to see it. But um, if you're tall like me, trying to lean over and give a, a short dog treats all day, that's back-breaking. Or if you're an elderly person, again, leaning over all day, giving a, a dog a treat, it could be really detrimental on your back. This actually solves that. Also, it's really good for redirecting behavior. A lot of dogs on leash are highly aggressive. They're actually, I always say the leash starts more fights than it stops because the dog knows you're going to pull them back. So it's almost like it becomes a bully tactic. All you have to do is put a treat in the lure stick, extend it out, and you'll notice the second they see that lure stick uh, near their snout, the, the aggression stops right away. Uh, that's one of my favorite uses for it because the redirecting is probably, I find the most use for it. It's also great for teaching a heel. Teaching a heel to, a, to any dog, or specifically a short dog, a smaller dog, it tends to be a challenge. And the lure stick, it's a very simple way to teach a heel. You can also teach basic obedience with it. So again, it's a one-stop shop product that uh, trains a dog. Now, the shake and break, it's probably going to be become like the industry standard of there's certain tools that every dog trainer, dog owner, pet rescue, they always have at, at their facilities and their homes. And I think the, the Shake and Break is probably going to be one of those products because it's a one-stop shop behavior buster. If your dog is doing any bad behavior, you name the bad behavior, all you have to do is shake this product and instantly it stops the bad behavior in its tracks. You can hear it behind me. Someone just shook it. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's give a listen. Brandon, can you shake it and everybody I, can give a listen? I can't shake it because there's a dog right oh. there. Yeah, she will. Oh, she'll... so let's not shake it. But it yeah, looks but like I can, a... Here, I, can give you, I can give you a light... That's one oh, side. Sounds now, beautiful. Yeah. Now, if I shook that hard, trust me, it's going to stop the dog in his tracks, whether the dog's getting aggressive, excessive barking, counter surfing, chewing, you name it. It'll stop the dog in his track. Now, if you flip it over, plastic end, it has more of a muted sound. That's good for dogs that are a little more sensitive to sound because you don't want to scare the dog. You want to stop the bad behavior in his tracks. You want to take them off guard. Your goal is not to yell at your dog. Now, you can start yelling at your dog if they're doing any bad behavior, but what's that going to do? It's going to kill your relationship with your dog. It's going to shut them down. They're afraid of your voice at that point. I never recommend yanking them on the chain back and uh, over and over, tell them to stop the, uh, doing the bad behavior, especially when they're lunging at other dogs in the leash. Why bother doing that when you can simply give it a shake, stop them in their tracks, and finish your walk peacefully? Great products and a great show that you have. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening. It was so much fun doing these interviews. I felt like a rock star myself interviewing all these celebrities. There are wonderful people in the pet industry that do so much for our dogs and cats and other animals. Thanks so much for listening. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.